Hi, I'm Frankie, and in this video, I'll share how you can create an AI agent that uses RAG. We'll do this by setting up an Azure AI search resource that'll create a search index on the data that we want to retrieve and send back to a user when an agent needs that additional context. Let's dive right in. We'll start in the Azure portal within a resource group that's currently empty. So the first thing we'll do is create a resource for Microsoft Foundry. This new resource we'll create, we'll call MS Foundry AIS East US2 Demo Agentic Rag. We'll put it in East US2. The default project name will be Proj. AIS US2 demo agentic rag. We'll make sure we're in the right resource group. Check everything else. Run through these defaults. Leave them all as is and create our Microsoft Foundry resource, which will also create our default project within the resource itself. Our deployment is complete. Now we can go to the Foundry portal. This automatically takes us to the new version of the Microsoft Foundry portal. We can see here the new Foundry is toggled on. If you do wanna go back to the old Foundry, you can click this and continue with feedback to the old version of the Microsoft Foundry, which used to be called Azure AI Foundry. But now with the new name, Microsoft Foundry, we'll use the new experience within the Microsoft Foundry portal. The first thing we'll do is build our agent. We'll go to the build tab. We'll create an agent and we're going to call this our ebook agent because our knowledge sources are going to be using a couple ebooks. Now right now the way this starts is Microsoft Foundry, our project automatically by default deployed a GPT 4.1 model for us. If we want to automatically deploy one of these other models, we could do that as well. If you want to choose a different model, you can go over to models, deploy base model, search through and choose a model of your choosing based on the criteria that you need for your particular agent. We're okay with the default GPT 4.1 model that's in place. And at this point, we can char start chatting with our ebook agent just using the base knowledge that the GPT 4.1 model has from its training data. What can you do? Now, right now, there's no system instructions, so I would expect this to be pretty broad. And it's extremely general, as we would expect. Now something we'll do here is use our generic GPT 4.1 model to actually create a system prompt that'll help our model pull from knowledge once we've added the knowledge base. Create a system prompt that'll encourage our AI agent to only pull from an AI search knowledge base with the ebook data that we upload It gave us a simple prompt that we can use. We'll copy this, put it into our instructions, and save our agent. Now let's get started building our knowledge source. To do this, we'll go back to our resource group, and now we'll create a storage account. The storage account is where we'll have a container, and we'll place our eBooks that our Azure AI search resource we'll create an index from. We'll call this SA for storage account, EUS2, demo agentic rag. Make this a basic Azure Blob storage. Primary workload will be for machine learning and artificial intelligence. We'll make it locally redundant, review and create 
Now we'll go to our storage account. We'll create a new container under container. So we'll hit add container. We'll call this ebook container. Create. Then we'll upload two ebooks. The two books we've uploaded is a book called Boundaries by Henry Cloud and John Townsend, and another book by Michael Gerber named The E-Myth Revisited. One's a book on boundaries, all about keeping healthy relationships, and the other book is more of a business book, uh, talks about how someone can be an entrepreneur, a manager, or a technician in a business. And it really it's all about how small businesses can work well and succeed. Now let's go back to our resource group. And now let's create our AI search resource. And call it AI search. AS US2 demo agentic rag. Sure, it's an ECS2. Keep in mind when you're creating AI search resources, they can get pretty pricey because you pay for a lot of the compute and storage that goes on to make these quick searches happen. I'll choose the basic tier for $75 a month and I'll be deleting these resources after this demo. I'll go through, leave these defaults and continue. Now my search resource is created. Now we'll import data to create our index. We'll go to the import data wizard, select Azure Blob Storage. We'll choose RAG for our scenario. We'll choose our storage account, which is the agentic RAG storage account, our container. We'll leave the default folder because we just want everything within that container. The parsing node is default since we're parsing PDFs and not another type of special file. We'll, we won't enable these. Deletion tracking or managed identity. Go to next. For the kind, we're gonna choose to make this Azure AI Foundry, which it should be Microsoft Foundry, but that'll get updated soon. We'll choose the project that ends in agentic rag, because that is the project we just created. The model that we'll use to create the embedding vectors is our text embedding three small model. This is a model that was deployed automatically for us to Microsoft Foundry when we first created the project. So using that to create our embeddings, we'll leave the API key as the authentication type. We'll acknowledge that the tokens that are used to generate the embeddings, both for queries to AI search and also by the indexer to create the vector embeddings are going to incur some costs. Then we'll go to next. We won't be using these additional enrichment skills. I will leave enable semantic ranker checked, which adds an additional step to enhance the search results by re-ranking them based on the semantic intent by a user's query. I can preview and see what the index fields will look like. Mostly they are just the chunked up version of the different files, if the files are big, which they are because they're ebooks. The parent ID is the specific ID to the book file itself. Uh, the chunk will be the specific data that is in that chunk. The text vector is the vectorized version or the embeddings of that chunk. And then the title is the literal title for the parent ID or that ebook file. Save this. We'll have the index only run once. We'll call it ebook agentic rag. And we'll create our index. This should create an index, an indexer, a skill set, and a data source for us within our AI search resource. Should now be able to go to search, start searching. My indexer is still running. So I wouldn't expect information to come back because it's still 
indexer should still be working. If I go to indexers, I can see it's in progress. We'll come back when this is done so we can see an example query to our index. Our indexer is done. Let's go to our index, make an example search where we'll just search for everything. We can see data coming back along with those vector embeddings. If I go into fields and I uncheck the retrievable for text vector, this will make not all the embeddings come back when I search this, making it a little bit easier to see the information that's coming back. So I can see an example of documents within this index coming back. So when we make queries to our agent, we will expect the agent, when it has an AI search tool connected to it, to make queries based on what we're asking for, where it will try to retrieve these documents from the index to send back to the agent and allow the agent to respond based on this additional context. Now let's go back to our agent and add this in. Our ebook agent will go to knowledge, connect add, we'll set up a data source via tools where we'll connect our Azure AI search resource. Right now there's currently no connections. Let's create a new connection to our AI search resource. We'll choose the one that ends in Agentic Rag, that's our AI search resource. Now that a connection has been made, we'll choose our index and we'll add it in. We now have our Agentic Rag set up. And if we go ahead and make a query asking about the information regarding those books, we should get information back specific to the contents of those books. What is the definition of a boundary according to John Townsend and Henry Cloud? So I can see this query that I just made. What's the definition of a boundary according to John Townsend and Henry Cloud? I see this reference to the boundaries book, which shows that our AI search resource is working. I can also check out the debug tool and see that the tool is called so now our agentic rag setup is complete. When you're ready to implement this into our, your code, you can go ahead and see this code example and put that into a Python, JavaScript, or C Sharp example. You also have the option to preview this with a preview sample code that has been set up for you with Microsoft Foundry if you wanted to test this and even share it with people within your organization. You can also publish this agent so that you can quickly make it available on Microsoft Teams or Microsoft 365 Copilot. I hope this video was helpful on how to set up an agentic rag scenario. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments below. I respond to every comment to help as many people as I can. If this video was helpful for you, I'd appreciate it if you liked the video and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more content like this. As always, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.